Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, good morning. Shall we start? It's around 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, start na ta. So, I'll be discussing two tasks today. Task 4 and task 5. Um, Uh, yes, sir. Sir Rudy, uh, please do the honors in recording our session. Again, mayong buntag sa tanan. Uh, ready na ba ta? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, morning, good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, so shall we start? Um, again, allow me to share my screen so I could uh, demonstrate to you where to access the file uh, needed in creating task 4 and 5. Nakita uh, ba ang ato ang screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, our next activity is again from the first na unit of competency, which is uh, plan training session. Now, to access our next activity, uh, click the core competency tab, then the drop down arrow, and then in the third the learning outcome, which is prepare instructional material. So, kanisya. Then, click on the drop-down arrow. So, makita na to ang fourth nga task na to. So, once you have uh, clicked this fourth task, so, you are going to be directed to another tab um, which has the instruction and the steps on how to create our next task. So, ayun na ni. So, mutiretso na lang ko. No, after reading number seven, click on the template that is this template, or you can also click this one. Automatically, uh, a tab will open, uh, opening this template. No? Then, for it to make it an editable nga file, click on file and then. The same na procedure, download to convert it into a Microsoft Word na document. No? So, after downloading it, try to open it and then uh, pop up na ni siya na document. Now, to create a document, something like this one, is we need to edit this in accordance with our qualification. No? So, magpabili ng word na competency-based learning material or what we call it, CBLM. And then, a picture that should be related to your qualification. Example, kung naatay, kung ang ato ang qualification is bread and pastry, particularly kanang sa cake making, make sure nga ang photo that you have inserted on the file reflects or speaks po sa inyong unit of competency. Say for example, na ay mga cakes din something like that. No? 
So, ingon ana. So, mas ba, mas maayos siya kung original ang photo. Uh, ako ang bot ipasabot para dili na ka mag-tag to whoever owns the photo. No? Uh, dili ka ma-charge o ka ng uh, plagiarism, pag ingon ana, no? Using a uh, registered na picture or photo. Okay. Again, ang ato ang ibutang din ni ang picture or photo should relate to our qualification. Particularly or specifically sa inyong unit of competency nga ipili. Okay. Next. Sector. Now, qualification is belong to a certain na sector. No? So, example of sector is kanang electronics and electrical, which is uh, computer system and servicing below, electrical installation, uh, electronic uh, production assembly and servicing, na mabilong na siya dito. Now, another sector is uh, agri uh, culture and fishery sector, which belong to a group of qualification like aquaculture, agriculture, something like that. You can see your sector at the front page of your training regulation. So, tanaw na ninyo dito, asa ang inyong sector na arapod na dito ah, sa front page sa training regulation na to. Then, of course, the qualification and the same unit of competency na inyuhang gihimo sa inyuhang session plan. So, make sure na parehas ni siya. Okay? Katong inyong gihimo or himuon nun or na, na, na assume na himuon na session plan, make sure na parehas sila sa CBLM na ato ang himuon. Okay? Next is the module title. So as you can see it, module title is the same as the unit of competency by just adding ING. I don't know what is the rule or a written rule of it, but that is basically the way uh, module title na states, no? Now, the last row is an agency which you represent no uh, kung naata sa school na trabaho karon it would be a good idea if you uh, integrated the name of the school including its logo so ibutang ninyo din niya sir wala man ko sa school but i am now at the office of the governor Okay ra po siya. Integrate also the logo and the name of your unit or the department or an, the agency you belong. So okay ra po na siya. So kung pananglitan, trabaho ka sa health center, so, pwede ra po na ni mo ibutang ang department of health din na. Okay? So together with its logo. So, next nga page. How to use this CBLM? Now, ang inyong buhaton is replace the qualification and the unit of competency. So, maura yun na. Uh, find and replace lang na siya kung sa Microsoft Word ta. So, kung ma-notice ninyo, ang ako ang unit of competency is plan training session. Uh, tanggalo ninyo sa inyong hapong unit of competency na gibotang sa first page. And the qualification na inyong gibotang po sa first page. So, i-remove and replace lang na siya ang na uh, or existing sa tuang template. And the rest of it is okay na. 
เนาะตัวเองนั่นแหละ next page these are the list of competencies particularly ang core competency so ibutang ninyo na din hi a ah, ang tanan nga competency under sa inyong qualification then together with their respective module title again the only difference is by adding ing so makita ni ninyo ang codes in your training regulation so importante kaayo ang training regulation now when you are going to change your uh any siya nga template make sure nga the selected unit of competency shall be edited to make it bold and italized so kung pananglitan plan training session ang akong gibuhatan of CBLM kani siya ang part is naka bold at the same time naka italized no to make it identifiable na this CBLM is plan training session unit of competency and a module title of planning training session okay so ingon na lang ka simple next is the module content now ang module content is again the unit of competency the module title and the unit descriptor now this unit descriptor is the same unit descriptor located on your uh, training regulation. So, try, try to open the training regulation. So, example, uh, Ang unit of competency is perform fish or shrimp grow out operation. So ang kanin unit descriptor is the same or inyuhang kopyahon lang from the training regulation to your CBLM. So kopyahon lang gyapo na siya. Now, next is the nominal duration. So how long would it take for you para makompleto sa usa ka estudyante or para ninyo ma-assume nga this unit of competency nga ma-deliver ninyo. So let's say for example around 80 hours or 24 hours isa ka adlaw, something like that. No? Or 40 hours equivalent of uh, one week, you know, five working days, provided that I at least a session of eight hour per day. Okay, so in your hashan, ibotang dini. Next is the learning outcome. Now, the learning outcome is the elements from the training regulation. So, kung mo balik tautan ao sa training regulation, these are the learning outcome. Comes. Meaning to say, inyuhan ni siyang i-appeal o sulat dito or i-paste dito. In case there are three learning outcome, then this three learning outcome would or shall be present dito sa ato ang preliminary pages sa ato ang CBLM. In this case, na ay seven ka learning outcome. So, ang seven ka learning outcome dapat na asya din ni Apod. Okay. So, mo na siya pasabot sa learning outcome. Next, assessment criteria. Assessment criteria is in your CBLM. But on the training regulation, it is called performance criteria. So, mo ta sa to ang training regulation and look for the performance criteria. So, example, this one. Seven kabuok ang iyahang learning outcome. Meaning, for the seven 
learning outcome, all of the performance criteria of each learning outcome shall be copied or paste dito as a CBLM. So in other words, kanitanan, example, kanitanan, kani, kanitanan, kani, and kani, and all of it dapat na asya tini asa assessment criteria. Okay, so dapat present siya sa assessment criteria. So na asya tanan dere. So daghan kayo ang assessment criteria. Okay. Next is the start of a learning outcome. Now, sa inyuhon CBLM karon, you need to choose asa sa inyuhon session plan. By the way, kinahangla na ana moy session plan before you can make your CBLM because from the word itself, plan, how to in your plan, no? Then, to execute your plan is by way of making your CBLM. No? So, in other words, dapat na anamoy session plan. Now, in creating your CBLM, ideally, you should create your CBLM for all of the learning outcome na inyuhang gi kimo sa inyuhang session plan. But to make a simpler na version sa inyong CBLM, you only need to choose a particular na learning outcome that has a demonstration na method. So, in this case, akong gipili na example is learning outcome number two. Because sa ako ang pagtanaw, naa siya'y, uh, example lang niya, naa siya'y decorate and present pastry. This is the learning outcome. Example lang ni sa bread and pastry. Now, since ang decorate and present is a verb, meaning to say, naa good siya'y, demonstration. Okay. Now, how are we going to identify the contents? These contents are the same contents na naa sa inyuhang session plan. On the first column sa inyuhang session plan. These are the first. Uh, this is. These contents are from the first column sa inyuhang session plan. So, ona siya. So, kopyahon to ninyo. Example, mag-open ko session plan. So, kung ma-notice ninyo, this learning content, kani siya nga learning content, is the same content nga naa sa or should be sa inyuhang CBLM. In other words, kopyahon lang ninamo, ninyo. So, ingredients, pastry product, provided under siya on the same na learning outcome. So, let's say, for example, himuan ako o katunga page ang CBLM. So, kopyahon ako ni. May akong ibotang tere. Okay. And the contents the contents And so on. So, ingon na lang siya. Now, how about the assessment criteria? Ang assessment criteria is the only assessment criteria for the learning outcome number one. Example, sa ang learning outcome number one, 
ani lang man ang assessment criteria. So hangtod 1.3 lang from 1.1 to 1.3. Meaning kani lang pod ang ako ang kopyahon padulong sa ako ang CBLM. So So example Iman anak. So, medyo nagka-gobot lang. But basically, mauna na siya sulod. So, ang pag-create pag is you need to have trading regulation and your session plan para makompleto ang preliminary pages sa inyong CDLM. Now, next is the condition. Condition is something like what you are going to provide para ma-achieve ang learning outcome. So, number one, kinahanglan yun o place, location. Number two, what are the equipment necessary para ma-achieve ang learning outcome based on the assessment criteria? Ikatulo, naabatay tools or accessories or supplies na ato ang dapat gamiton. Again, for the sake of achieving sa ato ang learning outcome and then the training materials. Or it can be stated as a supplies na. Okay? Any question? Before tamo, proceed pa girl. Questions, questions. Any question? Hello. Apa tadi ha? No question, sir. Ibu nak. Ah, mana senseli yang? Okay, pada yang tak. Now next page, ah, pakai after pad after pasa condition ID assessment method. Ah, usually assessment method is demonstration and with oral questioning and written test. So in your case, which is na ay demonstration laden ka yung nga mga uh, activities uh, the assessment or per, it should be performance based nga mga assessment so na good or present good most likely ang demonstration so you can integrate one of the assessment method as demonstration okay now, next is the learning experience. Now, this learning experience, you can create learning experience by basing it with your session plan. So, kung unsa ang inyong session plan, maorapod na ang inyong learning experience. So, as you have read it, kanisya din ang apart. If you have your session plan already, uh, most likely, it is the same. So, kopyahon lang to siya. And then, paste ninyo under the column of learning activities. Special instruction would be something like outside 
from the session plan instruction. Like, for example, uh, reading a certain uh, topic from the library or uh, bringing an example of a material and then uh, mag-report to a class, something like that. So, ingon anak, no? So, pwede na ninyong ibutang din hiya sa second column for your special instruction. So, any question? Uh, nasabtan ba or uh, nasamot o kalibog? Again, question. Wala na question? Uh, if, in case nga medyo lisod-lisod ka may i-digest, uh, you can post your questions uh, sa GC for, for us to discuss it kung saan or kung say standard, kung say pasabot, something in one hand. Okay? So I'll just open the channel uh, para uh, in case nga naatay mga questions. Salamat. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.